The trustees steward special and beloved places in the Berkshires, as well as throughout Massachusetts. Bartholomew's Cobble is a registered national natural landmark due to its high biodiversity, based on ancient limestone outcrops from hilltops down to the floodplain of the Housatonic River. Two properties in the Berkshires had suffered similar storm damage impacts that demanded attention. Erosion has long been an ongoing concern for farmers, foresters, road builders and others and the trustees have devoted attention to basic needs for decades. However, recent severe erosion has jeopardized special and heavily protected habitats, as well as historic structures, safe public access on our sites, and even town roads. Upon realizing the need for expert help, we sought out technical resources at the Center for Urban Watershed Resilience. They identified the root causes of our problems suitable, moderate-cost green infrastructure measures, as well as potential sources of supplemental funding to complete needed work. We leapt into action with some Band-Aid treatments to tide things over until we had a final plan ready to execute. The northeastern U.S. is one of the areas affected most by climate change that alters rainfall patterns. Warmer air holds more moisture, which in turn generates severe gully washer storms. How we use to manage rainfall and runoff isn't working well these days. Many smaller towns with older roads aren't well prepared for their old-fashioned ditches and culverts to handle the new extreme flows. Since the 1970s, public funding has been available to help communities study, design, and construct measures to maintain and improve water quality. The 319 grant program was a good fit. Both towns and adjacent landowners became involved in meetings and field inspections. Together, we crafted a shared understanding of the issues and how to work together towards reducing runoff close to its sources. The basic ideas were to provide areas where water could soak into the ground and where energy could be dissipated instead of eroding deeper gullies. In constrained areas, pipes were installed to carry water under roads and down the steepest roadbeds. A specialty contractor provided sensitive in-channel repair work from the edge of Prospect Hill Road down steep terrain where erosion threatened historic stone walls, bridges, and barns plus large and rare trees. Previously buried in a pipe prone to clogging, a new open and daylighted channel carries water around the barn and under a main farm road to join an existing deep ditch. Care was taken to reduce flooding, which had affected neighboring homes during large storms. Work was substantially completed in the fall of 2018 and within weeks experienced torrential rainfalls. Even some skeptical neighbors approved of how it functioned. Natural materials were used, including willow whips collected on site. Back down at Bartholomew's Cobble, we were lucky to have an abutter who was interested, skilled, and equipped to build BMPs on his property. Work included bioretention basins and driveway ditch check dams. The town had successfully managed the dirt road for well over a century until it suffered repeat washouts triggered by heavy rainstorms. They added new pipes crossing under the road. These helped road stability, but caused erosion of endangered plant communities at Bartholomew's Cobble. Once alerted, the town promptly blocked those pipes and cooperatively worked with the trustees on new solutions. Measures were undertaken to prevent water from flowing directly across vulnerable steep slopes, hosting priority habitats. Work had to be done without causing further harm. Getting heavy equipment up steep terrain without causing damage was virtually impossible, so work was done by hand. Despite stony ground, cedar posts and stakes made of wood and rebar anchored natural and synthetic materials to slow water, trap leaf litter, and control erosion. Gully repairs used varied materials configured into check dams. Rock was carried in buckets to fill green plastic mesh tubes in steep spots. Wire-bound bundles of local brush cuttings were staked down in wide spots. Strong plastic mesh spanned narrow spots like fencing to trap leaf litter and falling brush. Many Berkshire towns experiencing similar issues can follow these examples to become better prepared for climate impacts. Increasing rainfall intensity has crept and caused problems in many rural communities, and these BMPs can be adopted in similar settings.